So let's look at how a narcissist mirrors. I'm Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand narcissism, how it affects your life and how to heal from the effects of it on your life. So since mirroring is sort of a fundamental way that humans interact when creating connection or when maintaining connection and bond to other humans, the mirroring is a subconscious occurrence that happens when people start reflecting back and forth the other person. So you reflect them, they reflect you back and forth. It's a natural human occurrence that happens and it's it's there to create bonding, to create familiarity, to enhance the attraction between people. Now, when a narcissist mirrors, they are taking that naturally occurring thing and using it to manipulate and to control and to gain understanding and awareness of a person so that they can, as part of the narrative, future fake and create situations that bring supply to them and keep people hooked on them. Narcissists use this to gain information about you. When a narcissist is the person on the other end of the mirroring, they are taking the information that they're getting and instead of attaching and bonding through it, they're learning and developing ways to use what they're mirroring against you. They're basically getting on the same wavelength and then manipulating from that place. They take the information that they are gaining from this mirroring and they're grooming you with it. So what happens because of their intent, because of their focus being on self, because of the lack of empathy and because of the lack of accountability that they take in relationships, they are taking information that they're gaining from watching you and from mirroring back to you who you are. A narcissistic person will recognize that this is creating attachment from you toward them. And then they take that information and they groom you as if it's really who they are, as if the things that you're seeing that are the reflections of yourself, your kindness, your giving, your understanding, your empathy, when they start mirroring that back to you in the beginning, there's an intent behind it to get you to believe that is who they are so that you stay with them, so that you feel familiar and you are now being groomed into believing that is the reality. You experienced or witnessed a narcissist mirroring Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think and what you have seen. Faking connection through mirroring. They possess cognitive empathy, which means that they can be aware of the feelings of and the experiences of another person. They do not have empathy in which creates bonding, which is the, uh, the feeling of what the other person is going through. They are faking, mirroring your own empathy back at you. They're gonna mirror in a situation anything that serves their goal, anything that will help them attain whatever it is they're trying to get from the situation. They're gonna show up differently for each person because of this. They're gonna show up mirroring who, whatever it is. So when we say to you that they are not more in love with, more happy with, whatever, the new supply. This is what we're talking about. They are mirroring that other person back to that other person. So it looks different than it looked with you because they're not a genuine person entering into a relationship. With a narcissist, it's a complete shift and a complete transformation because they're wearing a mask. And that's why when people see them with new supply, they think, oh my gosh, look how happy they are. Look how amazing it is. No, what they're doing is mirroring that other person and that other person is believing it. And so of course it looks happy, right? Sometimes they do things like flat out steal your identity when they're doing this. They will mirror so much that they become the person. And sometimes they do this after the fact. It's like they imprint the memory of who you are in their head. And when they leave and they go to new supply and then they become you. Does that make sense? Like they'll take your hobbies, your interests, your expressions, your political opinions, your everything. They'll take who you were and wear that mask because they've mirrored from you. And what they're trying to do is impress someone else with who you are. Like basically they know you're awesome. They wear that, they go to someone else and say that's who they are. And at the same time, they're mirroring that person. And so they're blending this false persona of the mask 
that is stolen information from you and who you are and with that new person and then they can make a perfect fit none of which is real hit the thumbs up hit subscribe if you need coaching group coaching or peer support check out the information in the main description of every video i will see you guys next time take care